Global warming is the long-term heating of Earth's climate system, observed since the pre-industrial period. It is estimated that the Earth's global average temperature has increased by about 1 degree Celsius since the pre-industrial period. The number is currently increasing at a rate of 0.2 degrees every decade. Most of the current warming trend is the result of human activities. Primarily, fossil fuel burning, which increases heat-trapping greenhouse gas levels in Earth's atmosphere. Each year, as scientists learn more about the consequences of global warming, we gain new evidence of its devastating impact on the planet. Global warming is expected to have long-lasting and devastating consequences on our planet. Disappearing glaciers, rising sea levels, unpredictable weather patterns, disruption of natural habitats and loss of wildlife and biodiversity are just a few of them. Today, we will discuss a few things we can do to fight global warming. Number 1. Reducing your carbon footprint. Globally, transportation accounts for between 15 to 20 percent of emissions each year. Petrol cars and taxis, which are powered by fossil fuels, release large quantities of carbon dioxide into the air when burned. Consider switching to public transport or carpooling to work. You can also opt for more sustainable forms of travel, such as walking and cycling. The carbon footprint of flying is larger than that of any other form of transportation. So, when you are planning to fly, try to reduce the number of stopovers, ideally by flying directly to your destination. You can also consider flying in economy class. A business class passenger has thrice the carbon footprint of an economy passenger. Number 2. Switching to renewable energy. We need energy to power our homes and offices. A major portion of this energy is generated by power plants that burn fossil fuels, emitting enormous amounts of carbon dioxide into the environment. Switching to renewable energy sources minimizes carbon pollution. Choosing renewable sources such as solar and wind energy to power our homes and businesses helps lower the impact on our environment. Number 3. Investing in energy-efficient appliances. Using home appliances, which are less energy-efficient, results in increased energy consumption. Replacing old failing appliances with more energy-efficient ones helps in energy conservation and thereby limits emissions. When you are shopping for a new TV, refrigerator, or any other electronic appliance, look for the Energy Star label and choose the most efficient models. Number 4. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Try to avoid products with excessive packaging. The production of the packaging uses additional energy. Try to carry reusable bags with you when you are out for shopping. Recycling consumes less energy and produces less pollution when compared to making new things from scratch. It reduces the need for extracting, refining, and processing raw materials, all of which consume a lot of energy and create significant air and water pollution. For example, recycling aluminum cans requires only one-twelfth of the energy required to produce them from raw materials. Making bags from recycled polythene requires only one-third the sulfur dioxide and half the nitrous oxide than making them from scratch. You can take your discarded paper, tins, bottles, plastic, and electronics to your local recycling center, through which they will be remade into other recyclable materials again. Number 5. Plant-Based Diet Dairy and meat is responsible for 14% of global climate-changing emissions. A high meat-based diet is not good for your health and for the environment. Switch to plant-based diet or low-meat diet, especially those that can be sourced from local farmers. The closer the food you eat comes from, the less carbon footprint. Number 6. Keep you home at the right temperature. Large amount of energy we use in our homes comes from heating and cooling. You can save 10 to 15 percent on your energy bill if you set your thermostat to 68 degrees Fahrenheit in winter and 78 degrees Fahrenheit in summer. This will also help one home make 2,000 pounds less carbon dioxide each year. Setting the air conditioner temperature to 24 to 25 degrees Celsius saves energy and money, and so does regularly maintaining the unit. Also look for an energy-efficient model when buying one. Use the dry mode, which reduces humidity. It may not cool your room as effectively as cool mode, but it dehumidifies the air which will automatically reduce the temperature in the room. Number 7. Buy better bulbs. LED light bulbs use up to 80% less energy than standard light bulbs. They may be expensive to buy first, 
but they will save you money in the long term. Replacing a standard 60-watt bulb with a 10-watt LED will significantly reduce your energy usage and save you a considerable amount of money over the life of the light bulb. Number 8. Turn off electronic devices. Some household appliances consume some power even when turned off and plugged into an outlet. Turning off electronic devices and unplugging them when not in use and turning off lights when leaving a room will save you thousands of pounds of carbon dioxide emissions each year. Number 9. Plant a tree. Trees help to combat global warming by absorbing carbon dioxide and storing carbon while releasing oxygen back into the air. It is estimated that one acre of trees can remove up to 2.6 tons of carbon dioxide each year. They also reduce wind speeds and cool the air as they lose moisture and reflect heat upwards from their leaves. You can start by planting some trees by yourself, or you can contact organizations that can help you to do this. So to conclude, the best way to help stop climate change as an individual is to think about what changes you can make and start with what motivates or interests you. Some people will be able to stop eating meat, and some will be able to give up their car. Some will be able to insulate their home, and some will be able to buy solar panels. Many people will be unable to do all of these things, and that's okay. The best way to help stop climate change is to do what you can. Any action you take will make a difference, especially if enough people take action alongside you too.